First, I want to uh, congratulate Norfolk State on a great season that they had and uh, how hard they played. And uh, they, uh, Diamond Johnson was uh, really, uh, you know, she's a really terrific player. I thought, um, I thought we worked, really, we had to work really hard um, to get this win. Um, to, um, Eleanor really stepped up big for us, uh, knocking down her shot. I thought working really hard on defense, uh, made some big plays, and then uh, Kiki. I thought, you know, we had really good balance with uh, Elena, um, Cam, uh, Kiki, Hannah Jump. Um, so it's, it's good to get uh, somebody else in double figures. So great, great job, Elena. Uh, and I thought we had some really good looks, and people didn't maybe knock down some shots, but um, we're going to need them on Sunday. Thank you. We'll now take questions for the student athletes. As a reminder, please state your name and affiliation at the beginning of each question. If you're on the Zoom call and you have a question, please use the raise hand function, and I will call on you if we have time for your questions. And before we take our first question, some milestones. Kiki hit her 1,000th career point tonight, job, and Elena set a career high in points tonight. Okay, Mike Robertson, African-American athlete. So, Kiki, you had a really explosive first half, 15 points but only two in the second half. Did you not feel the same in the second half? And even though it was still a great win? You know, I think my teammates took over. You know, it was their time to shine. I, Tara always says it's always someone's game. So I think the second half, it just wasn't my half. It was Ellen's half, Cameron's half, Hannah's half, everybody else's half, um, which is fine. I just made sure I did other things, try to rebound, get my assist up. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Hi, Michelle Smith from the next, Elena. This feels like an extension of your performances in the Pac-12 tournament, contributing more offensively in that. Is there something that's going on with you late in the season that you feel like you've got, um, your shots improved, that you're getting better looks, but you seem to be more assertive offensively? Um, I think my teammates do a great job finding me, and I feel personally, I don't know, I was working for that during the season, and I feel good right now. So, yeah, I hope it stays. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Ann Killian with the San Francisco Chronicle. Um, yesterday, Tara was saying that you had improved more than maybe any player that she's ever coached, the, the leap you've made. And I'm just wondering if you could comment on what, how you feel as opposed to last year at this time. Um, and what do, you, what do you attribute your incredible growth this season to? Yeah, I think my situation is just a combination of preparation and opportunity, and everything just lined up at the perfect time. I've been working for this since I was a freshman, and this is the year that I was able to showcase myself. Um, I also think mentally, I really worked in the summer on just like my confidence and just being fearless, understanding that I will make mistakes, but not hanging my head on that. Um, and then again, I play with amazing players, amazing teammates, great coaches that are always pouring into me and saying that I got this, so there's nothing for me to worry about when I play. How did you work on your confidence? So I have this coach from high school. Her name is Coach Millie, and she's like an aunt to me now. Um, so she was someone that I just hung out with the whole summer, just talking about, you know, pouring into me, giving me affirmations that, you know, I can play at this level. There's so many things that I, I can do and that I'm limiting myself. Um, so I think once I started believing in myself, you know, so many people believed in me, Tara, my parents, everybody, but I didn't really believe in myself. So once I had that mindset shift, I think that's when things started taking off. Now, as a leader of the team, one of the leaders, obviously, especially in scoring, you and Cameron Brink both had 17 tonight. Norfolk tried to fight back down the stretch. Iowa did, Iowa State rather, they did fight back. So what's kind of the mindset going into the next battle, especially, I had to, have to bring it up, last season you guys mm -hmm. didn't make it past that game. And of course, they will be fighting to yeah. do the same thing this year. Yeah, I think the biggest thing for us is throwing the first punch. So making sure we're coming out and we're not lackadaisical, like we're on, on our tens, you know, um, and just executing our scout, um, also staying out of foul trouble because that would be big for Sunday. Um, but I think as, lo as long as we follow our scout, we do what we do, we'll be, we'll be fine. Uh, ben Parker, CarnotSportsSports.com for Tara. Just talk about how do you feel you guys handle the pressure tonight that Norfolk State brought? Is that for me? Yeah. Tara, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you can't, no, no questions for Tara yet. <laughs> Can you repeat the question? Oh, the press. Yeah, so, yeah. How do you feel you guys handle the pressure tonight? The press from um, yeah. I think we did a good job as the game went on. Uh, 
definitely we could do better, I feel, at some point, but um, I don't know. We, I don't know. I had four of them, so I'll work on that. <laughs> you got it, girl. <laughs> I think we were good. Kiki, I, I know that that uh, loss last year here at Maples has been a theme all year and something that's motivated the team. Um, what, how, how much do you feel that now going into a second round game and, and what is, how has that driven you all season? I think if anything, we've learned that it's March. Every team is great in March, so we can't take any team for granted. Like we have to put the same amount of focus that we would for higher, higher seated teams. Um, and also we want to protect home court. We don't want what happened last year to happen again. Um, we want to get out of Maples. We want to make it to Portland. Um, and I think something with this team is like, we're very close and we all want to play hard for each other. Um, so it's more so like, I want us to win for our, my teammates as opposed to for myself. So I feel like that's something that is like strengthening, strengthening us this year. All right, uh, Kiki or Elena. Uh, no diss to your band here, but how did you feel about listening to Norfolk uh, State's band? It was great. You know, they were talking to me the whole game. We had some great banter. Um, I think that's what makes the, the sport fun, you know. They can say stuff, and I blow them kisses. Um, but I think it was really fun. <laughs> to be honest, I never listen. Like, I, I never listen to anyone except Tara and the coaching staff. Um, so, yeah, I think the atmosphere in Maples is great all the yeah. time, and I love it. Um, so yeah, one more game here and then. Oh, Kiki, um, Adi Crooks had a big night and that'll be um, a matchup that everybody's gonna circle with you and Cam and, and Adi and I just wanted to kind of get your first thoughts on containing her after a big night. Yeah, I think we can't let her get too deep inside. Keeping her outside of the paint will be very crucial. Um, she finishes really well inside. Um, so I think just you know making her shoot the ball is a good idea. <laughs> Any more questions for the student athletes? Yeah, this is for Elena. Just uh, how, how good does it feel to have a career high in an NCAA tournament game? Yeah, that's the question. Go. <laughs> um, it feels great, uh, but honestly, I don't really think about it. I am very happy about Kiki's 1,000 points. I know that it wasn't easy to get here, but here she is signing and I'm very proud of her, and I'm very proud of Cam, of Hannah, of Brooke, of everyone, of Janaya. Like, my class, I love them, and it's been a long way, but here we are. <laughs> here we are. Here we are. <laughs> thank you, Elena and Kiki. You can rejoin Sorry, your teammates guys. in the locker room. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. We'll now take questions for Coach Vanderveer. As a reminder, please state your name and affiliation at the beginning of each question. If you're on the Zoom call and have a question, please use the raise hand function, and I'll call on you if we have time for your question. Hi, Tara. Will you talk about Elena's game a little bit? It is an, she was playing well in the Pac-12 tournament leading into this, and you know her, her improvement or this sort of upward trajectory that she's been yeah. on the last few weeks. I, I think she said it. Um, you know, she's, um, she's feeling confident. Um, she, she had a great, great, I thought a great game, especially defensively. And, and offensively, but um, this is what we see her do in practice. And it was exciting to see everyone else get to see what she's been doing in practice. Um, you know, um, she's never met a shot she didn't like. And it was going in. And it was, uh, she was taking really good shots. She was getting the ball inside. She had the first assist. And I'm really proud that we had 21 assists. Um, and, like you, and like she said, you know, um, she's not about herself. Uh, she's about her teammates. and. Uh, she was, you know, excited for Kiki, and uh, she's, um, I think she's really progressed a lot this year, and it's, it's great to have her out there, and she's doing some really nice things. Coach Aaron Wilson with Cron Hi, Ford. Sorry, I forgot to do that earlier. Um, I want your take on how you guys handled the press. It seemed that you guys really found a way to score easily on the zone, the 3-2 that they were playing, but the press was a little, they were scrappy, Norfolk yeah. was, but there were a few turnovers, a few tipped passes, a few interceptions here and there. What was your take on the press? Because I would imagine other teams might try to throw that at you guys. Um, you know, I think that that's what they do. And quite honestly, we haven't, we haven't played against it a lot. Um, I thought we did have some uh, sloppy turnovers. I mean, we ended up with 14. It, it felt to me like it was like about 40. But, um, you know, um, 
we had, we, we had some times where people kind of had the ball and then it got taken out of their hands or they did make some deflections and that's what they, you know, that's what they do. Um, they won a lot of games doing that and they know how to do it. Um, they do what they did well and I thought we adjusted. I mean, uh, some of the turnovers, uh, Kiki owned up to four of them. Um, you know, sometimes people just try to do things that weren't there. But, um, you know, this is one of those, uh, you know, one of the games that uh, it's good for us to play against that. And this is really the first game, except for Oregon, but they didn't even play, that were almost played exclu exclusively zone. And it was great to see our team just step up and make shots. And it wasn't just Hannah. Uh, Talana had some good looks that will, hopefully they'll go down on, on Sunday. But, um, you know, getting the assist, sometimes people tried to do things that maybe weren't there or had the ball taken out of their hands, which we didn't like. Sure. sure. Before, before the follow-up question, I just want to remind her that Stanford's locker room is open for 13 more minutes. <laughs> you mentioned Talana, and I wanted to ask. She seemed to, especially down the stretch, I believe it was in the fourth, she was really frustrated that her shots weren't falling. Is, is she kind of talking to you guys about what she's trying to do? Is, is that No, she just, um, you know, she, she has some good looks, and, um, you know, we have confidence in her shot, and I'm glad she's taking them. And I encourage her to take those shots. Uh, she shoots an excellent percentage, as Janiah. Janiah had a great look. Um, and, you know, so some of it is just, um, you know, making sure that she continues to look for that good shot. And she worked extremely hard defensively. So, um, you know, that tonight was, you know, your offense can come and go, but your defense can be there every night. Tara, um, Kiki uh, spoke of gaining confidence over the summer, really working on her self-confidence. Did you see that, uh, a difference in her when, when she, after the summer? And also, um, how do you like the matchup with Audi on uh, Sunday? Um, I, think that, um, I think that, you know, Kiki had some opportunities last year and maybe just wasn't ready in the way that she's ready this year. And she is playing with a lot of confidence and uh, she's, she's delivered for us. I mean, she's had big, big, big games and has been incredibly consistent. Um, I also want to point out Cam, you know, had a double-double tonight and really did a great job on the board. So, and it's, it's really fun for me to see the camaraderie that is there between Cam and Kiki. They really support each other. Um, they, you know, they're excited for each other, and that's something that's really important for us. Um, and we're going to need both of them uh, to guard uh, Audi to, on, on Sunday. Um, she's a terrific talent, great hands. Uh, they work to get her the ball very hard. Um, and, you know, I just, uh, I think we have better size than Marilyn does. And we have to be, we, we're going to have to be much more aggressive than we were tonight. Yeah, Tara, Jerry McDonald from the Mercury News. Um, Mitch, Talana seemed like she had a, a big role in defending Diamond. And mm -hmm. while she got her shot, she got some points. She needed 24 shots to do it. Were you pretty happy with the, with the way you defended her tonight? Well, I thought we did a better job in the second half. Um, in the first half, if there was a switch, our bigs were biting on like her hesitation, and then she'd go by them. So, like, if you're going to switch, you got to keep her in front. And um, you know, I think sometimes, like, I think for our team, uh, it's it, it helps a lot to see people really in person and understand their game. And I thought we did a, we adjusted to that really well in the second half. And Talana, T Talana really takes pride in her defense, and so does Chloe. Um, the two of them really work hard defensively, and I thought uh, they both worked really hard and did very well. Um, Diamond Johnson is an excellent three-point shooter. For her to go 0 for 8 is a, a good, good night's work. Harold Gutman with the Virginian Pilot. I, I know Jerry asked about the defense um, against Diamond, but also Kiara Wheeler held, you know, holding her to 8 mm -hmm. for 23. But just talk about you know, holding their two players, but making them work so hard for those points. Um, you know, I think that that's something that um, we kind of keep our defense a secret. You know, I, no one thinks we play any defense, so. Uh, but I thought we did a really good job. One of our, our goals is to um, hold a team, uh, you know, under 35%. Uh, we did that from the field for, um, for this game and also did a great job from the three-point line. Um, I, I thought that, um, they, you know, we just, people worked hard. And... We, I thought we fouled a little bit too much and turned the ball over a little too much, but um, you know, coming back after being off for almost two weeks, I thought we did very well. 
Tara, Alex, Simon from SFGate. You've been pretty intentional all season long about wanting to be 10 deep and utilizing all your freshmen. Yeah. Was there something tonight in particular with this matchup that led you to kind of squeeze the minutes a little bit from the freshmen and maybe stay mm -hmm. more to six deep in that way? Well, I thought, I thought Courtney came in and did some really nice things. Um, you know, sometimes they'll, they'll get in there and, you know, I, I just try to watch and see what's working. Elena was playing so well. You know, like there have been times where Elena's um, been sitting and watching and cheering for Courtney or for Nunu, uh, but Elena was playing so well, I'm like, she's got to stay in. Um, and then either Talana or Chloe were running the point, and then Hannah came out and Courtney, I thought Courtney came in and did a really good job. Um, Brooke plays ahead of Nunu, and it was either Brooke and Kiki or Brooke and, and Cam, but, um, you know, we're going to need everybody where we want to go, and uh, a lot of it will, a lot of people's playing time will be de determined by their defense. Um, we, we have to really play really well defensively against Iowa State. Ben Parker, CarnivalSportsPort.com. Tara, you guys uh, outscored him 17 to 7 in the second quarter. Um, really put the clamps on, on them defensively. What was kind of the key to the uh, – was there any adjustment you made in the second quarter? What was kind of the key to that? Yeah. I wish I knew. <laughs> Honestly, you know, sometimes it's just getting used to understanding what they're doing. And, uh, I, you know, we would – um, I, I thought our team honestly played a little tight tonight. You know, they, they know the pressure. They, they kind of feel like, okay, you know, we, we're supposed to win this game and, you know, we got to play well. And, and the other team came out a little looser. And I, it really at halftime, you know, maybe we loosened up a little bit. But I think at halftime I just said, hey, let's, let's have fun and play. You know, don't put pressure on yourselves. And that's going to be the same thing for Sunday. You know, let's just come out and play hard and, um, you know, just uh, move the ball, uh, run, run good offense, work hard defensively, and uh, we're going to have to play very well. Last question for Coach Vanderveer. All right, Tara, of course, you've had many scenarios at this time of the year, and I'm not trying to age you. but um, <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. But um, what will you uh, emphasize so you won't have a repeat of last year where Coach Yo with Ole Miss – respect you so much, but had a chance to beat you. But is Cam's last time on this court and also Hannah's last time on this court. So what will you emphasize? Uh, we to we make have sure a totally, this is a totally different team. This is, you know, this team is, you know, there are some players obviously that played on last year's team and they've learned and we've learned. We have, from the time that we lost last year, um, it was very painful and people took it very personally. and. Uh, committed themselves to hard work in the gym and hard work on uh, being better connected as a team, um, including coaches. And we've had, uh, we put in the work. And, you know, regardless of the outcome of the game, um, I think that I know that I will be proud of this team because of how, how, how well we have done. You know, uh, there's not anyone sitting here that thought we would win the Pac-12 regular season uh, or be in the championship game or even be a top seed. And so we just need to um, continue to play hard and play for each other. Um, and have, uh, we have a lot of confidence in our team. And at this point now, anyone's, you know, they're all, they're all really good teams. So, um, but it, we're, uh, we're in a new year and we, we got a good vibe going and we're, we're really having fun. So uh, we'll see everybody on Sunday and thank you all for coming. Thank you coach and good luck on Sunday.